Hey you, my name is Dan, I used to work at the biggest dealership in the country and now I teach fine folks like you how not to get fucked when buying a car. Now in this video I want to talk about how one Mercedes dealership scammed an insurance company and it was so elaborate, it was work of art and technically they did not break any laws. <laughs> That's the best part. That is the best scam when you don't even break any laws. So I found this video completely by accident uh, on YouTube channel called Autovlog. You can check them out, whole story. I'm gonna just show you just a clip of what happened. It is raining uh, bad. I mean, this is worse than when we went to Columbus. Uh, Dr. M3 got caught in the rain in this event for and it's pouring down. I can hardly see in ahead of me. My car just died. What the hell? I can't even hear if the engine's starting. All right, so here we are, and the car's parked out here. They're gonna take it inside, and it's gonna be sitting inside the dealership. So yeah. I guess I'll have to give you a, a quick little rundown of the story here. I was going to uh, Harrisburg, and uh, they're telling me that the car hydro locked, so the engine is dead. I mean, that, that's the quickest rundown I can give you. Like, I, you know what? I, I didn't want to make this phone call to you. You know what I mean? I love my car. I wish this wouldn't have happened, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? The car is dead. They tried to turn the engine manually, um, but they couldn't. So, you know, the diagnosis is that, you know, the engine is dead. Okay, so this is pretty much what happened. He was driving in a car. Uh, another car ran over a puddle brought up a huge wave, his uh, intake got flooded, subsequently he had a car which had a hydrolocked engine, so pretty much his engine got flooded with a little bit of water. A lot or a little, that's not the, that's not the question here. The biggest thing is his engine is now fucked up on the $89,000 Mercedes. That's, uh, that's, that's how much that thing costs, can you believe that? 89 fucking grand. Now, let me show you exactly how the scam went down. They brought the car to the dealership. The dealership took it apart, is looking at the engine, is looking at the filters, looking at the intake, and they are telling this guy, dude, your car is fucked, okay? Well, this guy has insurance, so he's like, yo, you're not dealing with me, you're gonna have to deal with the insurance company because I have a contract with them that says, yo, if uh, my shit gets damaged, insurance company you're supposed to pay for it so there's insurance company that's now taking care of the business about this car with Mercedes dealership Mercedes dealership is telling insurance company yo <laughs> the car is fucked you know, you're gonna have to pay and we know you have a lot of money you have a lot of it in fact you have it unlimited amount so get ready to be paid insurance company is like yo so what's uh What's going on? How much, uh, how much is this going to be to fix it? Mercedes dealership tells them it's $71,000 to replace the engine. $71,000 on the $90,000 car. Can you imagine that? So you're telling me, this is, let's just, between you and me, let's, 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 uh, let's have some common sense talk here. $90,000 car and the engine is 70 fucking grand? Are you serious? Are you serious? So, like on a Corvette, that's whatever, sixty, seventy thousand dollars. The engine is fifty thousand dollars, and the rest of the car is ten. You're telling me that this whole engine is worth three times more than a car, than everything else: transmission, suspension, electronics, exterior, interior, frame of the car, all the body parts. You're telling me that the engine is worth more than everything else? Are, are you serious? Because dealership knows that insurance company has unlimited money. They know they can charge any amount for that engine. 
It could be $90,000, it could be eighty-eight. dollars it could be $57,000. That number is just pulled out of their ass. That $71,000 is not a real price of the engine. They just decided to quote insurance company that price. It could be anything, anything they can think of. The reason they went with such a high price is because they know that with $71,000 engine, they're gonna have to spend also 20, 30, God knows how many tens of thousand dollars to install a new engine. By that time, it's gonna be more expensive to put a new engine into this car than the car is worth. And that is exactly what Mercedes dealership wants to happen. They want to sell another car to the same guy with insurance money. That's exactly what they're going for. They know they can make another fucking sale of the same car to the same person with the money that insurance is gonna pay for. All they're seeing with this customer is a cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. That's all they're seeing. And this is how the scam went down. Insurance company has a limited amount of money. Dealership can charge them any amount of money to replace the engine. They charge them really fucking high. So insurance company is now forced to buy another car for this guy. Well, they're forced to give this guy a check, which he's gonna turn around and buy the same car because he really likes that Mercedes. So yeah, kind of cool. They didn't even break any laws. Everything was 100% legal. Everything was by the books. And this is why I will never ever fucking buy a brand new car. Ever. And I don't care what brand is it. If it's a Honda, a Toyota, or Mercedes, or Ford, none of them. Because dealerships and car manufacturers work hand in hand to take advantage of us, the customers, insurance companies, and anybody else they can scam for any amount of money. They will. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up below and click the subscribe button over my head or watch one of those two videos if you want to see more money saving tips about cars. This is Dan with 60 Minute Car. I'm signing out and I'll see you on the internet.